What is nervous system? The nervous system is our body's command center. Originating from our brain, it controls our movements, thoughts, and automatic responses to the world around us. It also controls other body systems and processes such as digestion, breathing, etc. So, you might have guessed by now what we are going to learn today. We are going to learn about our nervous system. In particularly, we will be discussing about MCQs, question and answers from this chapter. So, let us start solving the exercise. So, first question in that list is tick the correct answers. And in that first one is our nervous system consists of brain, the spinal cord and the dash. And the options are blood vessels, kidneys, lungs and nerves. So, these are the four options and we have to select the perfect options amongst this. So, the correct option amongst this is nerves. So, nerves along with the brain and spinal cord forms the nervous system. Let us see next question. Next question is, a person might faint if his heart does not send enough blood to his and the options are feet, house, kidneys, brain. So, what is the correct option amongst this? The correct option is brain. So, if brain doesn't receive enough blood, a person might faint. Third question, when we happen to touch a hot object, the sensory immediately passes message to options are brain, hands, spinal cord, eyes. So, what is the correct option amongst this? The correct option is spinal cord. So, the immediate actions are generally controlled by spinal cord. So, spinal cord is a correct option. Let us see fourth question. To clean a blocked nose, we must inhale dash. Options are perfume, ice, steam, none of this. What is the correct option? Obviously, it should be a steam. So, if we steam, if we take a steam, okay, our, we can release a blocked nose, some relief we can receive to a blocked nose if we inhale steam. Then the next question is write short answers. The first in that list is the brain needs a continuous supply of blood and oxygen. Why? The answer is brain needs a continuous supply of blood and oxygen because it is like fuel for brain and if it does not get enough supply a person might faint. I will repeat the answer brain needs a continuous supply of blood and oxygen because it is like fuel for the brain and if it doesn't get enough supply a person might faint let us see next question the next question is what are sensory nerves the answer is sensory nerves are the nerves that transmit signals to the brain from all the senses then third question is how is our brain protected from injuries here you can write Brain is enclosed within the skull. Also, between skull and brain, there is a clear fluid which acts like a cushion and protects it from injuries. Okay, so skull along with this fluid protects the brain. Fourth question, what could happen if we clean our ears with a pointed object? Well, if we try to clean our ears with a pointed object, it can cause injury to an eardrum inside. So, it is very harmful uh, to use a pointed objects to clean our ears. Fifth question, what is reflex action? Here you can write the actions which are done automatically without thinking are called reflex action. For example, when we put our hands in a hot water, we immediately pull it out. Why? Because of this reflex actions. We don't need to think even once before doing this. So it is a reflex action. Then comes the long answer questions. Here, the first question is, what does the nervous system consist of? Here you can mention our nervous system consists of brain, spinal cord and nerves. Then name the different parts of the brain. What work does each part do? Here you will write, our brain is made up of three main parts. Cerebrum, it controls the working of our eyes, ears, nose, tongue. It also controls our voice. It is a center of intelligence. Then comes cerebellum. 
it coordinates the action of the muscles and makes them work together it helps us to balance our body also then comes medulla it connects the brain to the spinal cord it controls the involuntary actions like the movement of lungs or a heart or a heart so cerebrum cerebellum and medulla these are the three different parts of the brain also i explained the function let us see next question what are nerves and what are their functions here you will write nerves are structures similar to long threads that carry signals between brain and other parts of the body it is responsible for transporting messages to all the body parts so very important part is nerves okay so i explained you the functions and this is what you are going to write for this question then comes how does food taste if we have cold well food does not taste good when we have a cold because our nose is blocked and food tastes better when we can smell it and that's why we cannot have a better taste of food if we are having a cold well the last question is how can you keep your skin healthy here you will write soap and water are enough to remove dirt and sweat from the skin dry yourself thoroughly after bathing and wear clean and comfortable clothes a scratch or a cut on the skin should be treated with the antiseptic lotion to prevent infection so many times when we are playing we might get some injury so what we are going to do we have to wash it with the antiseptic lotion okay that's how we can prevent skin injury otherwise normally you can take a bath with the water and a soap that is enough for washing yourself well that was all from my side students next time we will be discussing new topic new lesson until then take care bye bye